It matters more how you spend the money, not how much. The Republican chairman of the Senate Education Committee, Gray Tolson, said during the same debate. Um, uh, contention one, uh, constitutionally mandating the legislature is ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. An obvious concern is that it would be absurd for the, uh, for the legislature to, to be constitutionally mandated to fund public education for, or anything else while exercising its duty to appropriate school f um, state funds. So I'm just going to be um, going through our opponent's case and just refuting their point. Basically, they want you to believe that holding a state's legislature accountable for education is some ridiculous burden to put on the government, and they couldn't be more wrong. This isn't a new issue, nor is it one limited to Mississippi. Uh, according to USA Today, all but five states in the U.S. have already been sued uh, over education funding. Government accountability is extremely important, and Mississippi really needs to step its game up and join the rest of the country in making certain that their state legislature is truly working for the improvement of education in our state. Um, the con side was also incorrect in their interpretation of Initiative 42. The wording that they gave me gives the Chancery Court power to enforce the amendment, not just to carry it out on their own. They would take control if and only if the legislature fails once again to fund MAEP after the amendment has already gone through. Um, if the legislature simply follows the MAEP law, it passed all those years ago, everything will just run smoothly. Um, Attention to Initiative 42 promotes the funding of an outdated education forum book. MAEP uh, requires states to fund education at a C level. A C level. This is absurd. By advocating this plan, you agree with setting a low standard for the future Mississippi scholars. This does not put our scholars at, at the same level as those who are, um, from higher ranking states. Uh, this is especially difficult with our uh, fair state, Mississippi, breaking at 50th, and with uh, states such as Massachusetts, which is at uh, which is number one, at a B level. Um, is this a bad president? Um, neither the advocates nor the opponents of Initiative 42, the proposed constitutional amendment designed to require the Mississippi legislature to better fund the state's uh, public schools, have yet to make a compelling case. The intent of the proposal is worthy, but the means are problematic. Um, if approved, the Initiative 42 would set a bad precedent in which any special interest that feels it has been chronically shorted at budget time would seek a constitutional amendment to compel lawmakers to award more money. There are, <coughs> there are a number of entities that could justifiably line up right now with, uh, behind public schools, Medicaid, highways, community, col uh, community colleges, universities, mental health, just to name a few. Mississippi is at an F level of education right now, and that's the absolute lowest we can be, and I think we can all agree that any improvement on that at all is valuable and welcome. Also, uh, consider this. Our opponents told you that the highest ranking state is Massachusetts at the B level. Um, elevating Mississippi to a C level using MAEP funding doesn't put us in the lead, but it definitely puts us in a very competitive position and would allow us to be ranked among the most effective school systems in the country. And I, I believe that's a very good thing to answer. This is coming from uh, Dr. Cedric uh, Gray the superintendent of Jackson Public Schools. It's not only a money issue, but a human resource issue, Gray said, pointing out hidden costs of advertising, recruiting, and training staff associated with unfunded legislative mandates, such as third grade gate, which requires states to show proficiency before going to fourth grade. The biggest thing that bothers my mind is, how do you keep up when standards keep changing? Our rules and regulations in school districts are constantly changing, and by passing this, it's just adding on to that. Um, my partner and I aren't advocating that we shouldn't fund public education. We're advocating that um, MAEP isn't the right way to fund this. Thank you. Uh, our first third contention was that um, fully funding the MAEP at the drop of a hat like this would set a bad precedent. And uh, essentially what our opponents are trying to feed you here is the idea that if we fully fund the MAEP now, other underfunded organizations will form some sort of like constitutional amendment breadline at the door of the MS legislature in order to squeeze more money out of the government. And what they're ignoring, however, is the fact that it was the state who promised to fund education in the first place. 17 years ago, the MAEP was established, and every year since then, the program has been pretty much begging on its knees for the government to keep its promise and fully fund public schools. And that is a bad precedent for the government to set. It implies that our state doesn't consider its students' educations a real priority, and that's something that we need to fix. And it is for these reasons that I urge you to vote a pro-ballot.